Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 10 in the series Facial for the Complete Beginners. And in this episode, we're going to go through Quick Mask and Layer Mask. One thing that you need to know about Quick Mask and Layer Mask is that it's basically just another tool to make a selection within your image, and it can be very useful in different um, scenarios. So, if I just get this off for you guys, we can get started. Also, this is the second time I need to record this because previously I had some technical situations with Camtasia and the frame rate was very, very low. My recording so it turned out to be very laggy, but I'll be remaking it for you guys now. So, as you can tell, I got an image open up right here off my duck, and I'm not sure if it's a duck. Well, my creature alright so first thing I want to do is I want to unlock my layer like so and what I want to do is I want to um, cut out this duck and paste it into this lake okay there are many ways you can do this you can do use different um, selecting tools to select it but for the sake of this tutorial we're going to use the quick mask tool which is right here also as you noticed I moved down my toolbar from the left side which used to be here right down here to the right size because I got my layers here and most of my um, windows here that I use so everything is nice and tight together so I don't have to move my mouse all the way around okay so let's get started your quick mask button is right here on the bottom of your toolbar okay and as you notice as soon as I press this on the top left where it says about your image it says quick mask okay so that means that you're on quick mask mode now another thing that you need to make sure that your foreground color is black and your background color is white okay now if I pick my brush color pressing B on my keyboard and turn the size down a little bit the hardness to 80% will do just fine so we got a soft edge opacity all the way up flow all the way up okay and now as you can tell when I paint on my image it comes out as red and the reason for that is is because we're in quick mask mode okay so if I just turn the size up and start painting over my duck the thing that I want to select I'm going to do this very roughly like so very loose just for the sake of time and as you can tell I made a lot of mistakes alright so I want to get rid of that and the uh, way you can do that is by changing your foreground color to white okay and you can swap your foreground and background color very easily you can click this through a little bit can't speak this little arrow right here and it changes your foreground color to white or you can press on your keyboard X sorry um, if I find my X button right here as you can tell it switches in between black and white so it swaps my foreground color okay so I'm on white and what I want to do is I want to get rid of these mistakes and if I go through again as you can tell because my foreground color is white it deletes the selection that I made previously okay so I'm just gonna get rid of these mistakes that I've done obviously it is a lot easier if you got a tablet and I advise you getting one if you want to get into graphic design because it will make your life a lot easier when you're trying to do um, things that you want to use your hand for currently I'm doing this with my mouse because I don't have my tablet with me but you can do it with the mouse as well you just gotta be a lot slower okay so obviously you guys would want to do this a lot slower and a lot more precise than I am and see I just deleted things that I don't want to so I can just press X increase my brush size I made mistake again so you can do this fairly quickly as you can tell if you press X you can select between deleting and adding to your selection really fast alright instead of keep clicking on the little arrow and it makes your life a lot quicker and this is the reason why you should use um, shortcuts alright so I got most of my selection now it is pretty loose I don't want to spend ages doing this but this is how you do this alright so once you've got your selection you can click your quick mask button again and what it will do as you can tell it selects everything in my image but not 
the creature that I wanted alright so as you can tell my little dotted lines around the image which means it selected my whole image alright so one way you can do this you can come to select inverse and what it does it inverses my selection so now it's only the duck that's selected and now if I press um, control C make a new layer control V now if I turn this off my background layer sorry that was my phone now you can tell that it's only my duck that is selected alright another way you can do this which is not the right way let's just say is now after you press the quick mouse button you got your whole selection sorted you can just delete this and then you'll only have your duck alright now another way that I'm going to show you that I normally use is select inverse now it's only my duck is selected come here and click my rectangular marquee tool right click and now you got layer via copy or layer via cut okay so if you don't want to keep your original um, selection within the background image you can go layer via cut and it cuts it out from here and it puts it on a new layer or you can go layer via copy and then it keeps it on your original image I'm just going to go layer via cut okay and now as you can tell it's on a new layer and on my background layer the cut uh, the creature disappeared alright pretty straightforward now what I want to do is move that duck into this lake so there are many ways you can do this I can just turn off my background layer select the layer that the duck is on and I can select it control C control V and as you can tell it's on a new layer right where I want it or which is very useful if you have loads of layers or layer groups and you want to move it into another uh, document you can right click the layer go to duplicate layer and as you can see right here at the destination you can choose the document where you want to duplicate this into okay so this is the image name where I want to um, paste this in and as you can tell my duck is right here I can move it around make it smaller and obviously I could paint around this and spend loads of time making it look like as if it was in there but for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to do that okay so I'm just going to close these because I don't need these anymore and the next thing I want to show you guys is layer mask okay which is another very useful thing that you can use okay so what I want to do I got my logo right here and what I want to do is I want to add a texture to this and this is the texture that I want to get so I'm just going to grab my marquee tool control A select everything control C come into my new document control V and now it's in my new document as you can tell it's a lot smaller so I'm just going to go control T hold down shift drag and now it kept its proportion because we held down shift and it's as big as I want it to be okay so what I want this to be is basically I want my text to look like that grass okay there are many ways you can do this but the simplest and quickest way doing this is this okay make sure you pay attention because you're going to use this a lot so what I want to do is I want to make a selection first thing around my um, logo okay so you could come here and mess around with these and just keep adding to your selection or the magic wand tool and all that or because this is the only thing that's on my layer if I hold down control and alt and click on my layer not the name but the actual layer as you can see it makes a selection around my layer okay and because this is the only thing that's on there it will select everything on that layer and now if I bring up my texture as you can tell I could just select an inverse and it inverses my selection so now if I click on the layer that the grass is on and I press delete 
it deletes everything off my image and now I got my text how I want it to be okay but let's say I wanted um, I wanted this grass to come out to around here around the Z and a bit around here I now can't do that because I deleted the rest of my selection okay and this is where layer mask comes in so if I undo everything got my selection okay and clicking on the layer that I want to get rid of if I press this button right here which is the add layer mask to the layer make sure that your foreground and background color is white and black oh sorry my selection was still immersed but now it's not so if I press this button again the magic should happen let's see if it does no it doesn't because I got the wrong layer selected so let's see if I can do it for the third time make sure that the right layer is selected the selection is selected and let's see if the magic happens this time yes it did indeed as you can tell it applied the layer mask to my layer and what it allows me to do is if I pick up my brush tool again select my foreground color to be white and let's say I want the grass to come out around here sorry black foreground color like so no not black white you need to make sure that you select the actual layer mask in your layers okay so not the image like I just did that's what I was doing wrong and select white as your foreground color select the actual layer mask at your layers and now if you paint over as you can tell it brings my picture back okay and I don't know if you can tell but in this little window whatever you paint white it will come up white there okay so basically white shows your selection and black hides it okay so I want this to come out like so and I can add to my logo and use the image instead of losing it okay and also I can get rid of it by switching my foreground color to black increase my brush size and I can just erase it but technically I'm not erasing it I'm just painting over it with black which hides it okay guys so this is it for this tutorial guys I hope you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode